in the context of India, groups like LDT and JEM get candid support from across our western borders, which enables them to plan and spread violence in the country. What is worrying is that these groups no longer can be dismissed as a regional manifestation of violence. Technology and ideology binds them together and members of any group retain the flexibility of striking targets which have no limits of, of, of area of operations. As long as it gives publicity to their ideology, enables spread of this in the areas of the recruitment and demonstrates their growing influence. These groups take advantage of international connected systems of finance, communication, transit to retain flexibility of reaching any, at any part of the globe. Most of the regional and country specific groups seeking change at national and regional levels have international affiliations to facilitate, <coughs> to facilitate finance and training of their outfits. Some of more powerful ones seek to affect global change and hence necessity for the international community to fight this growing menace as one <coughs> by a variety of means like sharing of intelligence, adopting of training techniques from each other. The global diffusion of subconscious <coughs> Subconvention threats requires a comprehensive response that provides solution at national, regional and global level. The need to address not only the methods but also the factors that contribute 